New here at 5, driving could get more expensive. The Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning is out with its new transportation plan calling for more expressway lanes and tolls. WGN's Dana Rebic is live from the Kennedy Expressway at Hubbard's Cave and tells us not all drivers like the sound of this plan. Dana? That's right, Ben and Micah. The problem with uh, the express lanes right now, driving in and out of the city, as many of us know, sometimes those express lanes can be just as crowded as the local lanes. And transportation analysts say in order to fix that problem and to ease congestion all across the Chicago area, drivers may have to pay a price. If you're from the Chicago area, you know just how bad the gridlock can get. You got bumper to bumper to bumper. Even Oak Park, so I come in on the Eisenhower, and I work about three blocks away at the Madnock building. So I got parking to pay as well as gas. In order to ease congestion and create revenue for infrastructure improvements, the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, or CMAP, has some new proposals laid out in its On to 2050 plan update released this week. We've talked with a lot of people. I've heard with a lot of people that, you know, they're experiencing extreme congestion. Um, managed lanes are a way for you to know, think about sort of uh, how do you get to a free flow traffic lane. And, and part of that has to do with pricing the lane. You heard that right. CMAP is suggesting adding what are known as managed lanes to several expressways. It would be a tolled express lane where drivers would have to pay more to use it. The proposed sections are on the Eisenhower from I-88 to Racine Avenue, I-90 from the Jane Adams to the I-94 merge, I-90-94 from the Edens Junction to Hubbard Street, 94 from the Tollway Spur to Lawrence Avenue, the Kennedy and Dan Ryan from Hubbard Street to 31st Street, I-55 from DuSable Lakeshore Drive to I-80, and I-55 between 9094 and I-355. They're full of it. Some drivers not happy to hear about the idea with the cost of gas and other goods going up. No, they just want more. They just want to get more money out of us because they're, they're making more lanes. Knock it off. Others like Dan Smith say they'd consider paying more. There are times when, yes, I wouldn't mind paying a toll to keep traffic out of the loop. But especially at this time of day. Speaking of getting in and out of the city, the current express lanes on the Kennedy would be converted under this plan to include surge pricing during rush hour. And a lot of these are dynamically priced, so as it gets busier, the prices could potentially go up and get people to shift to other modes. We are going to need to do something different if we want to have um, a, a better experience on our roads. Now, there is no timeline in place as to when these changes could happen. Uh, the woman we spoke with from CMAP says that IDOT and other key players would all have to come to the table and agree on them, of course. But she says uh, many other states across the country on the East Coast to California, Colorado, and Texas have all adopted these managed tolled express lanes, and she believes that will be something we see in the future here in Illinois. Live above the Kennedy tonight, Dana Revick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.